Hey everyone, Nick Griot, Griot's Garage, and today we're gonna use spray on car wash to clean up this daily driven Jetta wagon. So as you can see, this car is pretty dirty. Just as dirty as it would be if you wanted to go and wash the car. But since the weather is turning on us and we wanna do this inside, we're gonna use spray on car wash. The key to using a waterless car wash is to be sure that you use a liberal amount of the wash solution to ensure that you have a high enough lubricity on the paint to avoid doing any damage. Spray on car wash is not meant to be wiped up immediately. You need to allow it to set up a little bit so it not only breaks down the surface dirt, but it also gives it time to encapsulate that surface dirt so when you wipe the product off, you're doing a gentle lifting motion as opposed to putting a lot of pressure and pushing that dirt into the paint. Of course, we're gonna start with the top, work our way down, and I'm gonna do the glass last just so I don't waste any of my clean towels in the process. All right, so starting on the roof, we're going to get this surface pretty wet and then we're going to let it sit for about 15, 30 seconds. Just let it do its work a little bit. One of the things is depending on how dirty your car is, you're going to want to use a lot of towels. These towels get saturated really quickly as you're using a lot of liquid product on the paint. And when you're picking up a ton of dirt, you're going to want to flip your towel constantly to ensure that not only are you using a dry, clean side, for that initial swipe and pickup of the dirt, but then when you flip it over, you have a dry side to buff the remaining product off so you don't allow it to dry on the paint. So we've let this sit up for about 15, 20 seconds now. My first swipe is gonna be very gentle and it's low pressure, so I'm lifting the dirt off, then I'll follow back up and dry the excess. So extremely gentle. One more time. Flip over to a clean side and wipe it dry. Using the PFM towel, those pick up a lot of liquid on their first couple swipes. If you don't get all the liquid done, you can always follow up with a quick detail spray afterwards, but the key is during this process, you're trying to get as much dirt as possible as safely as possible. In addition to cleaning the paint and windows with this product, you can also use it to clean your wheels in this tight scenario. Just be sure to use a much less expensive towel, one that you never intend to put on the paint of your car again, and do that last. Now that we've covered the basics of spray on car wash, I'm gonna do the rest of the car. So we finished the entire car up in about 20 minutes. I used three and a half or so PFM towels and one dirty work towel to do all the wheels. The entire paint surface, the windows and wheels are clean. The car looks absolutely amazing. Spray on car wash is a true solution for any of those tough situations you find yourself in that may prevent you from using soap and water to wash your car. Whether it be drought, HOA restrictions, or severe winter weather that's preventing you from getting outside and washing your car with soap and water, Spray on car wash is the true alternative for you. So long as you follow the basic techniques I've shown you, you're gonna ensure the safest method possible to get your car clean. For more information on spray on car wash, be sure to visit griotsgarage.com. And as always, have fun in your garage.